Hey everybody, it's Bratman19. Welcome back to our series on the Pokemon Stadium N64 game. And uh, last time you saw us, or at least the past couple episodes, you've seen us take out all the gym leaders and the Elite Four and our rival in gym leader castle mode. Now we're going to come out here and we're going to go into Stadium, which is kind of the main mode of the game. And uh, just some overview, there are four different cups to get into. The... Uh, Petite Cup, which is levels 25 to 30, the Pokey Cup, which is 50 to 55, the Prime Cup, which is 1 to 100, and the one we're going to get into today, which is the Pika Cup, which is levels 15 through 20, and uh, it's all about strategy, guys. That's how we're going to win this one, and that's why I've got, I think, the perfect grouping here. So I'll go ahead and tell you my first Pokemon I'm going to choose is Raichu. Yes, good speed and good attack for its uh, level, of course. Um, next, I'm going to take off with, let's see, Kadabra. Good Psychic, got a fighting type move in there. It's very fast. It has terrible defense, but you know what? We'll deal with it. Um, let's see, next, guys, I'm going to go with... Ponyta with its Fire Blast and its Horn Drill Swift. Yes, it's got some good moves. Um, let's see. I think I also want to grab Nitto King right here. He's got Poison Sting, Earthquake, Bubble Beam, and Double Kick. So we're going to put him in there as well. And um, let's see. Let's grab... Let's see. I need to grab something powerful. Let's go with Seedra, because it's got Ice Beam and Bubble Beam. It's fast. It's got good defense. It's got good attack and good special. So, yep, he's definitely on the team. And one more. Th this is what I don't know what I'm going to go with. And actually, I'm going to take that back. I know exactly who I want. Where are you, my friend? I am. I know where he is. I don't. Where are you? Where did you go? There you are. You're all over here. Mankey, that's right. A little off for me to pick him, but look at what his speed, his attack, and his, uh, you know, all his other attacks are. Counter, dig, low kick, and karate chop. Yes, I'll take him. So there you go, guys. There's the six I'm choosing. Which one of that is your favorite? And I'll go ahead and let you know I love Ponyta out of this group. And the reason why is just it's a kind of mysterious how you can ride it and not catch on fire. Especially, you know, when it involves a Rapidash. We saw Ash do that in the anime. But anyways, leave me, tell me which one's your favorite. Put it in the comments below. And here we go. Facing off, we've got eight trainers. And just a little extra overview here. This uh, cup will probably be, and all the cups will probably get broken down into two parts. Because there's eight trainers. Um, it's just too hard for me to uh, keep up with, um, you know, trying to make, you know, 30, 40 minute long videos. I don't want to do that to you guys, and yeah. So, let's just go ahead and break it down into two. And here we go. We're putting a Kadabra up first. It's a Paris. Poor guy. Here we go. Psychic attack. And I think we can one-shot pretty much everything he's got. And there it goes. Down goes the Paris. All right. What's next? Alright, it is going to be a Butterfree. Again, another poison type bug. Psychic attack. For the win. Oh, it's not really for the win yet, but oh well, we'll take it. And guys, I'm going to go ahead. Oh wow, it didn't take it out. Oh well, that's fine. I think I'll use Seismic Toss next. And guys, I'm going to ask this question as well. Include it in with your comment of your favorite Pokemon. Uh, what's, like, where are you from? I want to know where you guys are all coming from. And also, um, I'll go ahead and let you all in. I'm from Georgia in the United States. That explains the southern accent and the uh, reason why I use y'all all the time with my southern drawl. So, yeah. Let me know where you're from. i really like to know. That way I can uh, kind of get an idea about what times for uploading a little bit better. You know, just let me know. Anyways, here we go against the Ekans using that Psychic Attack and taking him down. Kadabra only takes 11 hit points worth of damage that entire match. There we go. That's the kind of wins I like. I like it a lot. I like it to loot. 
Alright, there we go. Perfect match, which means we're going to get extra continues. That's something that this cup has attached to it. And we'll take that boulder badge. So now we kind of get like an extra life if I mess up down the road. Now our second battle, we're going to face off against the lad. Look at him. He probably thinks he's really cool. But we're going to go off first with Kadabra. Take out Raichu. And we'll go with Nidoking next. And here we go. Kadabra, who are you facing off against first? And it is... Farfetch. Look at that. I have really never faced off against Farfetch before. Um, Psychic attack it. And, ooh, okay, so he doesn't have quick attack or he didn't use it. One of the two. Doesn't matter, his special falls and he's down to four left in damage. He's going to use takedown. Critical hit. Yeah, takedown's usually a one-shot move. I hate it a lot. That's okay. We're gonna take off again with Nido King. He should have the advantage throughout the rest of the battle, I believe. Alright. And we'll just use Bubble Beam, I guess. I, I don't see any reason why not. Alright. There we go. Ha ha ha! Down you go, Farfetch. Yeah, you're not gonna grab your leak. That's what that thing is, that green and white looking stick. It's a leak. Alright. Ivysaur! I've got just the move for this Ivysaur. Earthquake! It should be uh, super effective. And it's not super effective, but it does do a lot of damage. And it's going to use what? Vine Whip! Hold on, Nitto King! <laughs> oh, it does. it's not even that hard against us. Okay. Alright, we'll use Earthquake again, because I don't trust a double kick to do it. Boom! There we go, and down goes the Ivysaur. Alright. What do we have left to take on? It's two on one. It'll be... Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout. Yes, he's got a very nasally way he says his name. I do Mr. Mime's voice better, you know. Mr. Mime! Than Bell Sprout, but you know, hey. You do what you do, and you do it as best you can, right? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Earthquake takes him down in one shot. Let's take that all day, everybody. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was my best Quagmire. I can do voices really well, but tonight I'm just not on par. That's okay. Down goes the lad, and we get our Cascade badge. We didn't get a, you know, a perfect, though, because Cadaver didn't do too hot, but oh well. Alright, now we're up against a swimmer, and I think I'm just going to lead off with Raichu. Pull in our Cedra, and then go with uh, Kadabra in case Poliwhirl and you know is the last thing left. All right, Raichu against a Nidorino. I don't mind this match too much. I don't like. I mean, I've got to depend on Thunder hitting, which I'm not sure if it will or not. Oh, it will hit. And it goes all the way down to 9 health, and it's going to use double kick on me. That's okay. Critical hit hit me twice and did 20 damage, so... His critical hit, though, without it, it probably wouldn't have done near as much. Maybe closer to 10 damage instead of 20. But oh well. Seismic Toss takes out that Nidorino. And I think it leaves nothing but water types left. So, uh, let's hope for the best. Alright. Polyrath, or Poly... Polyrath, Polywhirl. Alright. Thunder! Alright. And hit it with that thunder attack. There we go, super effective! Go ahead. Everybody, put your fist in the air because that's a quick and easy victory. Now we've got one more left. What is it? 
I'm dying to know. War Turtle. Oh, I like War Turtle. He leads to Blastoise, which is my favorite of all 151 first gen po Pokemon. And probably actually my favorite Pokemon I know. But a super effective hit with critical hit will take him out. Oh well. And down goes Swimmer. Good job, Raichu. You gave us a perfect. Yes, perfect and an extra continue. We need to stockpile those because I have a feeling we're going to need them later on. And the Thunder Badge. Alright. Next, battle number four against a Burglar with all of his fire, ground, and one psychic Pokemon. So, I think I will lead this battle with a Seedra. Then roll up with... Hmm. Nidoking. And last with Kadabra. Just because ca having Kadabra is in my team has at least been doing me well. Alright. Seedra, it's you against that Ninetales. Let's use Bubble Beam. I think it's faster. Yes, it's faster than me, and hopefully this doesn't paralyze, but it does! And it hit a critical hit on me. That's okay. Bubble Beam it. It's super effective. Speed falls too, so that helps for later on. Let's go ahead, we'll use Bubble Beam again. Hopefully we can use it. Man, that that really kinda makes me mad. And we get par we're fully paralyzed. That puts me at a little bit of a disadvantage for the rest of the match if Cedra stays in, because he's gonna go second every time. Alright. Last chance, Seedra, for you to at least earn your keep, and you'll do it. Hopefully. <laughs> Bubble Beam. Alright. And we're going to keep Seedra in. I know he's going to die in the next move, but there's nothing we can do about that. Alright. Come on out. Oh, it's a Charmeleon. Alright. We'll lead in with a... Bubble Beam, it's not going to matter in the end, because it's going to use Scratch and take us out. Okay. That's alright. There's a reason why I brought in the Pokemon I did, because if Seedra went down, I was prepared with Nidoking. He's got that Earthquake attack, which is just so good against Fire-types. Now I just got to hope the last one is not a Drowsy. If it is, I can still beat it. But we'll use Earthquake on this one. And we're faster than a Charmeleon. Nice. And an Earthquake, a super effective critical hit. And down it goes. Good job, Nitto King. That's what I'm talking about right there. Alright. What do we got? It's a Growlithe. Aw, look at how cute it is. That puppy Pokemon. Oh well, doesn't matter anymore, because it's going down to the ground. Alright. And there goes one hit, kill, just like Charmeleon. Alright. There we go, good job Nidoking, you're really the one winning that one for us. I probably should have put him in to begin with. But that's okay. Alright, down goes the burglar, and we're gonna get our rainbow badge. Alright, 